Guys, do you want to run ethical hacking tools on Kali Linux? So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux in VMware Workstation. Complete tutorial I'm going to show step by step. So do watch my video till end without skipping any of the part of the video. Otherwise your installation may not be successful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you installation of Kali Linux. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Kali Linux download. And here guys, you can see the official website that is kalilinux.org. You need to just click on this link. So guys, it will redirect you to this page. Here guys, you can see we have installer images and virtual machine. We are going to select installer images and guys here just scroll down and here it's showing us Kali Linux and you need to click on this down arrow button. So guys, you can see the download has been started. The size is in GB. It will take long time guys. So please wait for it. Okay guys, my download is done. Now I'm going to uh, this location and here you can see I have Kali Linux ISO file, disk image file. So I will be using this file in my VMware workstation. So you have to install VMware workstation. If you have not installed it, I have given video link in description box as well as you can click on I button to watch that video for installing VMware workstation. So herein guys, I have started VMware workstation and now I'm going to click on this button, create a new virtual machine. So guys here, uh, I need to click on next button by taking typical installation and here I will be selecting second option that is install from disk image. And now here guys, I will be browsing my ISO file. So wherever you have downloaded, just browse your Kali Linux ISO file and now click on next button guys and guys here you can see we have to provide operating system so select linux and in version you can select appropriate version so i'm selecting this one and here i'm clicking on next button and now we need to provide the virtual machine name so by this name it will be visible so i'm just giving name as kali linux and guys this is the location where your virtual machine will be installed so if you want to change you can just click on browse button and change i'm keeping the default and clicking on next button here guys we need to uh, provide the minimum disk size so you can provide at least um, 50 or 100 gb disk size and here you need to select second option that is split virtual disk into multiple files okay and click on next button now here click on customize hardware button to increase the ram memory so guys here my ram memory is by default 2 gb i am making it as 4 gb and here the processor is 2 i am going to make 3 processor so just select the processor and change uh, the processor you can keep 2 also that's okay there is no problem keeping 2 processor also and just click on this close button guys after changing memory and processor okay so cust hardware customization is done now i am going to click on finish button and guys you can see my uh, virtual machine is created now once i power on the installation of kali linux will be done so let me just select this play button power on this virtual machine so it will power on my kali linux okay and so guys now you can see here my kali linux installation has been started it's showing me various options so i'm going to select graphical install guys so just select this and hit enter and now guys here you can see it's asking me a language so i'm going to select default language as english and i'm going to click on continue button here location i'm going to select united state that is the default one i'm going to click on continue button guys i'm keeping many of the things default only at few places we have to change so uh, just make a note of that and keyboard also i'm taking american english and i'm going to click on continue button so all this uh, information will be applied guys and now here you can see installation of the uh, configuration is started so after few few configuration it will install so now here it is asking me host name so by default this name has come so i'm keeping that and clicking on continue domain name you don't have to provide just click on continue button guys and now here it's asking full name for the new user so here you can provide the name so i'm just giving name as cs corner 
you can provide anything and click on continue button guys and now here it is asking the username now for this particular account so uh, it is cs you can change if you want so clicking on continue button and now here we, you need to provide the password so you can provide appropriate password whatever you want but remember guys this password while installing uh, kali linux whatever password you are providing the same password you have to put uh, whenever you are using kali linux so remember this password uh, important one because if you forget you won't be able to log into your kali linux okay so um, i have provide uh, i have re-entered the password and clicked on continue button now here i'm taking clock as eastern clock and i'm clicking on continue button guys so now here partition disk so guided use uh, use entire disk and continue button here again select the default partition and click on continue button guys again once this is again the partition disk so we will be selecting default all files in one partition and click on continue button once again guys and here again finish partitioning and write change to disk continue and now here we have to make the changes we have to select yes option and continue so it is doing partition and installing the base system so again uh, this process will take time so you have to wait for it guys i have fast forwarded my video now here software selection um, these two are deselected so i'm just selecting it and clicking on continue button so again installation of the selected software will be done so whatever was not installed i have just installed it now here uh, configuring gdm3 so select the default one and click on continue button so it is configuring gdm3 okay so again you have to wait for it guys so this process again takes a long time so now here um, it's asking me no and yes install the grub bootloader so yes i will install and i will click on continue button okay so now here loader so we have to select the second option sda and click on continue button once again so it is installing it and this is done guys now it is showing me reboot yes i want to reboot so my um, reboot is done guys and here you can see it's showing me my kali linux so i'm going to select this kali linux and boom guys you can see it's asking me and it's showing me my username so i'm going to just enter the password which i provided and boom guys you can see your kali linux has been successfully installed here is the desktop of kali linux you can see different applications available so i'm just starting the browser so that's all guys so this concludes my video i hope you really enjoyed watching my video so guys if you really like my video do hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box and guys do share my video with your friends and guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel guys i have another channel that is in hindi if you are learning coding in hindi you can subscribe to my code with sunita channel also and guys i'm sharing lots of pdf notes on my telegram you can join my telegram channel all my social media link is in description box you can follow me there also guys so thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care guys keep learning keep watching